Thursday at 9 a on your Monday. I am Nicole Malapa. How was your Mother's Day? Oh, it was great, thank you. Yeah, a little George, you made you some really nice oh, artwork. Oh my gosh. And you know, the funny thing is, and I was telling you, he could not wait to give it to me on Saturday, Sunday. So it was literally right after I picked him up from school. He's like, Mom, look at what I made you for Mother's Day. And, he's and you're like, well, hold on, hold yeah. on. And he was like, like, no. At the playground, yeah. So it was so nice. I mean, there's nothing that beats the homemade stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now and you got to, how do you keep all that stuff? Uh, do you well, have a filing a, system? I kind of do. I have a bag where I put a ton of the stuff and I rotate it out. Actually, we ended up buying this frame on Amazon and you rotate out the artwork. So That's a great idea. when you make some new stuff every week, I put it in. Terrific. So, Nicole, how was your Mother's Day? It was really nice. Spent uh, the day with mom and uh, put in some flowers. Nice. Went out and bought the flowers, put in the flowers. Took me a couple of hours and I got my gardening in. There you go. Yeah, but she, she cooked. She didn't want to go out. Go really? figure. Yeah, she was like, Aww. she made macaroni and cheese. She made sandwiches. She made soup. She made she made everything. That's her love language, yeah, was, right? Exactly. So <laughs> it was really good. All right, let's talk weather. Hey, we've got a gorgeous day out there. I can't I, wait. Right? I was uh, freezing this morning. That's why I'm wearing chilly. a sweater dress. <laughs> 39 degrees. It was like 35, 36 in parts of Northwest Connecticut this morning. Our first alert live radar scans the state dry. Good morning, everybody. It's time to rise and shine. Future cast tomorrow's weather today keeps us high and dry. I, I suppose there could be a, a sprinkle. See that little green dot right around 5 p.m.? It's a little sprinkle in parts of northwest Connecticut. And then tonight, we do run the risk, but I think the risk for the showers is two hour north. And then during the day tomorrow, another abundantly sunny day. And then Tuesday night into Wednesday, that's where we're going to welcome in our next storm system. But for the most part, we should be doing okay today and tomorrow. So today, 70 degrees in inland Connecticut, 65 for the shoreline. Here's your three-day forecast. Mostly sunny skies today. Partly sunny and breezy tomorrow. Showers late, like at night. And then Wednesday, rain at times, breezy. It all depends on what model you believe and the timing of that. Could go into Thursday. We're just going to have to wait and see. So, but we'll certainly keep you posted. But you notice the temperature is trending above average for the next two days and then a little bit below average for Wednesday. All right. All right. A fallen Hartford police detective will be honored tonight in Washington, D.C. Yes. Detective Bobby Garten's name was just added to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial. And tonight, Garten will be remembered in an annual vigil at the memorial as well. Mm. He was killed, if you remember, back in September when a speeding suspect crashed right into his cruiser. And Garten was one of nearly 300 names that have been added to the memorial this year. The vigil begins at 8 o'clock tonight and we'll have live coverage all day on Channel 3 Eyewitness News as well as on the WFSB app. I pass his uh, the site where unfortunately he was killed every day because it's on my way to my house oh, wow. and they've done a really beautiful memorial memorial mm -hmm. uh, for Bobby and you can see they have like an arch of flowers wow. that goes all the way up and they planted some trees with blue ribbons on the trees it really is it's on Asylum wow. Street in Hartford which turns into Asylum Avenue so if you're going that way just look to your right and you'll see it it's really beautiful I've never seen it yeah I'm it's definitely really it is pay, it, it's, pay close attention. it is beautiful all right also a consumer alert for you this morning a Texas judge is putting the brakes on a program that would cap credit card late fees yeah it was supposed to start this week the Biden administration wants to enact a plan to cap all late fees at eight bucks, which I think is pretty good. Yeah. Many cards have late fees that are $20 or more for late payments. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce and the American Banks Association sued to stop it. Experts say the fate of the plan may ultimately be decided by the U.S. Supreme Court. Hmm. hmm. I mean... I it's, mean, I would love to see that be capped. I know. I I think the thing is a lot of people still charge on their card because it's hard, right, right. to afford things. So if we're hitting them with more when they're already struggling, that's tough, right? That's but then someone on the other aisle, they argue, well, they shouldn't be charging that on their card. That's you got to be responsible. Exactly. So it's like, I don't it's know. It's kind of a hits, Yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see. But if it gets yeah. all the way to the Supreme Court, they're going to have a big decision to make. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Hey, the Hartford Wolfpack are moving on to the division final. This is so exciting. Yay. And you can get tickets for the home games against the Hershey Bears in less than an hour. Cool. That's when they go on sale. Tickets for the Atlantic Division finals in the Calder Cup playoffs are on sale at 10 a.m. And it's a best of five series. Games three and four will actually be played in Hartford at the Excel Center. How awesome is that? I know, right? Little home ice advantage. Mm -hmm. And this is the second straight meeting, by the way, between the Wolfpack and the Bears in the division final. So, go Wolfpack. Have you ever been to a Wolfpack game? I don't think I have. I've been there for stories and covering some of the players, Okay. but I don't think I've actually been there for an actual game. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's such a, a great time. Well, Andy, your husband's such a hockey enthusiast. <laughs> yes. And George, your little one, is getting on the skates these I days, know. too. He went to a Wolfpack 
Wolf Pack game, and ever since then, that's when he was like, I want to play hockey. I mean, he wanted to play hockey because of Andy, too, but that, like, solidified yeah, it. Yeah, that was so it. It was such a great experience for him, and he was only four and went to the Wolf Pack game. And so. now you're a hockey mom. And now I'm a hockey mom. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, coming up, you can bring in extra cash by playing games on your phone.